Okay. So, hello again, scholars. So, this will be your very first task on this course. Okay. This will be your task number one, uh, module one on introduction to online opportunities, which is basic online tools. Okay. So, we discussed a while ago in passing the uh, different uh, online tools that you're going to use when you do your freelancing career now. Okay. So, for this slide, for slide number one, you need to screenshot your Gmail account. Tapos, i-click nyo yung bottom up, upper portion na to para lumabas yung account nyo to show na it's really your account for Gmail. Okay, for Google Drive dashboard as well. So, um, i-click nyo lang din yung account nyo doon para lumabas po yung real name or yung real account nyo to prove that it is your Google Drive dashboard. Okay. So, for Google Classroom, so I will discuss this in further, no, after this discussion. Again, just the same. Screenshot and then highlight your account on the right portion of your screen or your dashboard. Okay. So, for Trello account, uh, just the same. Scholars, uh, ganun din, no? Dapat nandun yung profile niyo or yung account niyo in the right portion and screenshot the whole dashboard okay for clackify okay clackify is used for the tracking for your time tracking so pwede ang i-require sa inyo ng mga employer nyo to no as you go, like, go with your freelancing career so just the same with the other accounts we need to uh, take a, a screenshot of the dashboard and highlight with your account on Clackify. Okay. So, by the way, with your Trello, this will be your to-do list. No? Uh, this can be shared to other teammates that you have. So, pwede nyo rin itong gami gamitin on a personal account para meron kayong tracker kung ano na yung tatapos inyo, ano ba yung next na tatapos inyo. Next na gagawin pa ninyo. Okay, what else? Okay. So, you have your Taddle Track account. So, just the same, this will be your tracking device. Maybe, baka kasi rin uh, ito ang ipagamit sa inyo ng employer ninyo. Or, ito yung required na pinapagamit ng mga platform. Okay. So, for the last pass, so, kailangan din i-screenshot ano, ninyo yung dashboard and just the same, yung kailangan i-highlight yung account ninyo. So, last pass account, this will help you remember uh, automatically your you, the password you created on many different accounts. Kasi when you do your freelancing, uh, marami kayong ma-encounter na mga tools, lahat yan may mga different kinds of password or accounts. So, to keep it safe, para mas strong yung password, you need to do this, you need to install this, no? So, to help you, no? Remember, or to help you store your different password on many different accounts. Okay, so the very popular Zoom account. Okay, so siguro for now, lahat naman kayo may Zoom account na, no? Uh, with your Zoom account, you need also to highlight your account. Just the same with the other platform. And Skype as well. So most of um, the uh, client in Western part, so ito, very familiar sila, very, very usable sa kanila ang Skype. Okay, so mostly mga U uh, taga US, so ito yung mga mostly na ginagamit nila Skype. And actually, scholars napakaganda rin naman talaga ng na Skype. Okay, with Calendly. So ano, so ito namang Calendly natin, no? So you need to screenshot. At you need to also screenshot the dashboard and highlight the, the uh, your account. So with Calendly, uh, dito magbubook o dito mag Mag, um, dito mo ibubok yung mga possible clients mo for a discovery call or for an interview call first interview call or if they want to reach you out kasi gusto nila yung service mo eto, pwede kang gumawa ng link para mabook no? para meron kayong both reminders on your scheduled interview so, yeah. okay so with hello sign so this is also very useful kasi when you go and when you push through with your clients, ano, uh, with your clients, uh, 
uh, job na gusto niyang ipagawa sa inyo no so you need, you need to have to, to ano you need to uh, draft a contract between you for your both protection now you need this hello sign para makapag signature kayo both okay this is very important okay kasi mas mas maganda ito uh, mas madaling gamitin compared to ma compared yung signature mo in image form and then saka mo i-attach. Okay? May <coughs> most acceptable itong hello sign. Okay? Okay, so, for some of you first timer sa mga ibang accounts na ito na never been uh, registered or hindi pa uh, naka-experience to sign up, no? I have here a slide. I will uh, share it to you. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one. Okay, all right. So, uh, try to maximize it. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I will share to you this is slides. Uh, ito yung mga links no on each accounts or each um, tools na pwede nyo gamitin, no? So, this will guide you. This will be a uh, detailed tutorial on how to sign up or at least uh, help you and aid you to sign up on these different accounts. Okay, so I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna share this to you later. Alright? So, I will now discuss I will now discuss the um, classroom and at the same time your Google Chat. Okay, so when you have and open your email in Gmail, okay, it is by default na you have already your Google Drive. Okay, so this drive, uh, this is 15 GB, no, of online storage or cloud storage. So, click nyo lang yung Google Drive icon doon. And then, okay, hold on. Okay, there you go. Sige, remove ko lang tong portion na to. Alright. So, this, so, this is your Google Drive now. Okay, so this is your Google Drive now. So, ito yung makikita yung storage, oh. Okay, so you have 15 GB. Okay, so all you have to do is for you to create a new folder. Okay, folder. Say, ilagay natin. Okay, so ilagay natin. Module 1. Right, so we need to create. So, Yon. So, yun yung module 1 natin. Okay? So, this will be your folder on your Google Drive. Dito nyo lalagay yung mga Google Slides ninyo. Dito nyo siya store Or, you may assign different folders or different um, what do you call this? Yeah. Different folders. So, bahala kayo kung paano nyo siya organize. But, you need to put it here para pag nag-create kayo ng link when you turn in sa classroom is mas madali nyo siya gawin. Okay. Now we go to your classroom. Okay. okay, by by the way, you'll be given a different link. No, kailangan ma invite kay sa loob ng classroom. So let's assume that you are already uh, your your email is already linked with the classroom. So click nyo lang tong classroom or the link na ibinigay sa inyo. No? Okay, so eto na siya. So consider uh, let's assume na eto yung name ng class or ng room, no? So, you need to go to your classwork. And then, dito nyo siya makikita yung mga different modules na dinidiscuss natin. At dito din kayo magsusubmit ng task. The reason why I explain to you this, scholars, because this is very important upon submission of your task on different kinds of modules. So, halimbawa, itong module 1, introduction. Okay. So, you will see here, I-move ko lang itong uh, video. Okay. You will see here yung mga discussions natin sa baba, the slide. Okay. Right? And this is further explanations of the topic. Okay. So, after which, uh, makikita nyo sa baba, may nakalagay na assign. Ibig sabihin, uh, dito kayo submit or eto yung mga task ninyo. Okay. May, maki may makikita rin kay dito of graded. Ibig sabihin, when you already submitted your task at nag-grade at na-check na ng, ng assessor natin, is mag, ma, malalagay na dito, is graded. Okay. 
na pag-assign, hindi pa siya uh, na-check. Okay? Or hindi ka pa nakapag-submit. Right. So, you may, you may click this um, header. Okay? So, this is very important again. So, uh, after which, you need to add or create. Okay? Then, click on Google Drive. Okay, click on my drive okay now piliin nyo yung ginawa ninyong folder kayo na ang ginawa natin is module 1 ano? but for the sake of this demonstration I will click on classroom TOT okay okay so maybe I will select this one Okay, and then insert. Ayan. Okay, so click mo lang yung slides na gusto mong i-attach ito, then click on insert. Okay, now attaching. There you go. So, very important scholars, very important class, na you should click on turn in in order for you to submit this task and ready for check-in. So, that's the way you submit all your tasks. Okay? So, very clear yan. So, yan dapat ang magiging process niya. Okay? So, if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand or um, at least ping me so I could be able to accommodate you. Okay? Okay, class. Good luck!